Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten, back with the next in our series of building a Pi game. So the first thing you're going to need to do for today's session, and this is assuming you have created your world in your tiled map editor and you've saved it into your project folder. See the last video if not. Uh, you need to install the Pi game uh, Pi TMX library. Uh, so uh, this is the Python code that connects the tiled map editor files to your Pi game. Uh, and so this is pip install, whoop, what's happening here? Pip install dash dash user Pi TMX, PY TMX. And this will, um, you can see I've already got it, but this will go off to the internet, find the Pi TMX folder, um, sorry, library and add it into your program. If you are using Moo and you're using the new version of Moo, uh, so at least a minimum of 1.1.0, then you need to come into the cogwheel at the bottom of Moo and come into third party packages. And here you want to type PYTMX and then click the OK button and that will install it for you there. All right. So this is, uh, once this is complete, you can exit your terminal just to actually to open the command prompt. Uh, it's the Windows key and X at the same time will bring up this menu. And if you find the, either the PowerShell or command prompt, um, that will open up what you need here. So once that is done, I can click type exit and it will close. It should close. <laughs> there we go, okay. Now I'm time to go to Pi game. And so I've got my VS code. I've got my folder open. Here's all my files. So uh, where are we? Video five. This is where we are at at the moment. Um, now we don't need import OS, so I can get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to, cause this has got a whole bunch of old copies of my code. So I've just been copying and pasting this every time I've been making changes to it. Uh, and then, so I'm just gonna make up a copy for, we're on to video five. So let's make this accordingly and I'll just get rid of these old functions. Okay, this will just clean up my code. You can see I'm now down to 115 lines. Okay, let's open that up. So this is where we were at the end of the last video. Uh, if I hit the play button. All right, so the last time we were in Python, this is what we had. We had our little alien walking around, uh, it jumped, it landed, um, but it was landing on an invisible platform and we had our left and right animations happening. And so that was that was really cool and exciting. And then the last video we used Tiled Map Editor to create our world. Today, we are just going to bring that Tiled Map Editor world into our scene. So if I close this, how do we go about doing that? So once I've done the pip install, the first thing I need to do is add a new import statement for the Pi TMX library. So a new line up the top of my code from pytmx.util for utilities underscore pygame for pygame import load underscore pygame. So that's my import statement. It's a little long, but that is what I need. Now to make our tiles all appear on screen, I'm going to create a function that kind of works through the entire layer and does it for us. Uh, so we're going to create, define a new function and I'm going to call it blit underscore all underscore tiles. And this is going to require three parameters. It's going to require the, our Pi game window. It's going to require our uh, TMX data. And it's going to require a thing called world offset. Uh, so because what's going to happen is as we move, we're only going to see part of our world at a time. And we want to be able to scroll and move that around. So we're going to create a list called um, uh, of two numbers, one for the X coordinate, one for the Y coordinate called world offset. Uh, and that will keep track of which part of the 
tile system we want to be showing on screen. All right, so I close my parentheses and I hit, put in my colon and hit enter. All right, so the PyTMX data when it comes into Pygame um, is basically lists of lists of lists. Uh, and so we uh, each list, the first set of lists is the layers. Uh, so if we're gonna loop through for every layer inside the TMX data. And then for every layer, that's now gonna be a list of all the tiles and it's gonna give us uh, X and Y coordinates and things like that of the tiles. Uh, so for every tile inside the layer collection of tiles, Right. what do I want um, now so there are th three main pieces of inf information here so I'll just put these in here as comments for you so the zero item inside this list is the uh, X number of the grid location uh, the number one item inside the list is the Y number of the grid location Okay, where zero, zero is the top left corner. And then, uh, actually, sorry, this is singular tile. Uh, tile is what I've called it up here. Uh, item number two contains the actual image data for blitting. All right, so with that, I then want to find my X and Y coordinates of where to draw it on a screen. Uh, and so the X, uh, the X pixel, right, would just be, I'll take the, the X value of the tile, so that's the zero, times it by how many pixels all of my pictures are. And we're gonna have to, we'll come back to this later because we might resize it so we can fit more of them in on the screen at once. But at the moment it's 70 pixels, and then we're going to add this world offset number. Uh, and so we'll take number zero from that, zero for the X, one for the Y. Our Y pixel location will be tile, uh, the first item number one in the list, times that by the 70 and add the world offset uh, number one value. And then I can just do a window blit. So window blit and the I game image that I'm really wanting to blit is tile two. And then I just need to provide the X and Y location inside another set of parameters, uh, parentheses, sorry. Uh, so X pixel, Y pixel. And that is that function ready to go. So let's actually get this uh, up and running. So inside my main, I want to load all of that uh, I want to load my TMX data, all right? And so I'm going to um, use to do, 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 do. You want the TMX file, so I'm going to use this whole new world one that I've got here. Uh, if I open it up, this is what it looks like, but we don't need to worry about doing that. Uh, but I can just right-click on this and say copy relative path, all right? And now inside my game variables, I'm going to create something called uh, TMX data. And I'm just going to say load underscore pie game, open the quotes, and then paste my file name from my copy and paste buffer. All right, so my whole new world is being loaded in to this variable, this object called TMX data. To then make it draw on screen, I'm going to put that come down into my while loop, and I'm going to add it straight after my window fill. Right, so that that's clear in my screen, and now I'm going to add my uh, so the blit underscore uh, to all underscore tiles, and I'll pass in the Pygame window, pass in the TMX data, and I need to create this world offset thing. So world offset, let's come back up to the top here. All right, uh, to do the so long as it's before the loop, it doesn't really matter yet. So world offset equals zero, zero. All right, we'll just show the top left corner for now. Let's make sure that this works. So if I hit save and hit run, 
what do I get? All right, that is me at the top left corner. All right, now you can see that the, the alien at the moment is not aware of the world. It's not interacting with the world, but the world is displaying. Uh, and so if I, just to show you how this world offset thing is going to work, if I was to um, give it a Y value, um, well, actually, let, let's scroll along and see what else appears after here. So let's move along. What have we got? One, two, three. If, I, if we move three tiles along, then the edge of this should be up against the edge of my screen if I move three tiles to the right. Uh, each tile is 70 pixels, so I want to move 210 for three times 70. And now if I run it again, um, I've actually come uh, to the left, 270. So this is where you need to experiment with it a little bit and actually get your head around what's going on because uh, I just made a mistake there. Okay, if I want to move to the right, then I need a negative number here. And there we go. So we now have that edge of that little platform with, that had the blue key above it and the door on the correct edge where I wanted it. And we can move along, but <laughs> we're still not interacting with the world, but you can see that it has shifted our world's view. All right, um, if I make it 140, we'll go back one more. Okay, and now we have that gap there. So that's kind of what world offset is going to do. We're just going to change that for number of pixels that we want to move up, down, left and right. Uh, let's also quickly resize it. So what happens if we want to see more at a time? Um, we would need to do a Pi game resize of, oops, sorry, of our tiles when we blit them. And we saw that we figured out how to do a resize here. We did Pi game transform scale, and that resi was resizing our player. Uh, and so we can do the same thing. If we want to show twice as much at once, all right, let's, um, let's create a new image and just use Pi game transform scale uh, and that will be tile two. And instead of 70 by 70, let's resize it to 35, 35. And then that is what I am going to blit here. I need to make sure I change this 70 to 35, that 70 to 35. The other thing we're also gonna have to do, all right, so now you can see we've got twice as much of the world viewable. Everything is half the size. Um, let me just make my uh, where did I put my world offset? Let's just make that zero, zero again. All right, so now everything is half the size. I probably need to make my player half the size as well. So it auto also automatically adjusts to be the correct proportion. Um, but that's just a case of coming into my player and changing those resizes as well. Where were they? Here, yeah, so all these player resizes Let's just halve these 25, 35, uh, 25, 35, 25, 35, uh, and here 25, 35, resize that. Uh, <laughs> that alien is probably actually a little too small now, but you know, you can, you can adjust it as you fancy. All right, that's enough for today's video. Uh, next video, we'll start interacting with the graphics. Okay, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.